Corsage, which is a drama by Austrian director Marie Kreutzer, who made The Fatherless and The Ground Beneath My Feet. This is Austria's submission for the 2023 International uh, Film Oscar. Apparently, trivia fans, one of five Austro-German productions about the Empress Elizabeth of Austria released beto- between 2021 and 2022. One of five. The others being Sis, Elizabeth, the Empress, and Sissy and I. Or is it Sissy, the other one, that one? Anyway, there are five of them. It's a fictional account, so it mixes fact and fiction. It's set across a, a year in her life, Christmas Eve, 1877. She's turning 40. She is deemed to be, therefore, an old woman, but she is very much not that. She is a rebellious spirit. She's played by Vicky Creeps, who, of course, was so brilliant in Phantom Threat. Um and who shared the Uncertain Regard Best Performance winner at Cannes in May, you know, the Uncertain Regard category, which is the films that the festival views uncertainly. Mm. How do you view something uncertainly? No, it's not, but that's not what it means. Uncertain Regard doesn't mean it's, ah, it's, it's, it's okay. a famous... Uh, anyway, so her, uh, her, her Elizabeth of Austria, Empress Elizabeth, is rebellious. She smokes, she thinks independently. She has little interest in her husband, but not in other men, his clip. There's simply no other rider like you. They're waiting with tea for you. I was told you didn't even say good day. I know. I behaved very badly. But something was telling me to come and see the stables. How is Charlotte? Still no ring? He doesn't say a lot, does he? She does, <laughs> she does all that could be that could be pale blue eye, but there's without right. without the snow. If, if, from, from, if you just heard that, you can imagine Toby Jones standing, yeah, just to the right, looking disapproving. So, as I said, the film is a liberal mix of uh, fact and fiction. The director says that she can't actually remember what's true and what's not. For example, there is apparently no historical record of uh, Elizabeth ever meeting Louis de Prance, who was a pioneer of cinema of the moving image. But the film constructs a meeting between them in which she becomes the subject of one of his early short reels. And it's a lot to do with image and the way that image is preserved, going from painting to photography and photography meant to be objective, but it isn't. But he makes a sort of argument about the way that the moving image is more objective than the standing uh, image. The film is also full of anachronistic tropes, including a minstrel at one point singing, help me make it through the night. And Ah. so... That obviously calls to mind um, Sofia Coppola's uh, Marie Antoinette, which of course famously had uh, you know anachronistic pop songs in it. That, that that then was a trope that was repeated in W. E. the Madonna film, for which you interviewed Andrew Riseborough. Andrew Riseborough, yes. well remembered. Um, although the director of this film has said that she doesn't want anyone to be thinking about Marie Antoinette, to which the answer is well. Hmm. <laughs> you know, slightly hoist by, by by your own petard there. Um, it's an interesting. It's an interesting film. I don't think it's quite as brilliant as as some critics do. I mean, I'm, uh, some colleagues of mine have really, really taken to it and thought it was great. I think it's it's got some ambitious ideas. I was thinking about you know in, in Catherine Called Birdie, which is one of my top ten films of the year. I absolutely loved it. They've got that thing about the the, the reworking of, uh, of popular tunes again, put in anachronistic context. That's another thing that that sort of that fits into. I think this is interesting. It's quite hard. It's quite. It's not. It's not a particularly um, emotionally engaging watch immediately. Although the performances are all you know individually strong, I think it's an interesting film with some ambitious ideas. I kind of wanted to like it more than I did because I had been told by colleagues who I like very much and I admire very much that it was great. I don't think it's great. I think it's fine and interesting, but I didn't love it. Oh, wow. You've made it to the end. So, as Cliff would have said, congratulations. And now that you're here, let me tell you about all our other offerings. We have... Other offerings? We have other offerings. You know, reviews and big name guests such as... Tom Hanks. Wow. Alicia Vikander. Wow. 
Tom Hiddleston. Two Toms. If you are a subscriber, you get all the extra bonus features like uh, one frame back, bonus reviews, that kind of thing. And our new feature, question smestion. So if you want to keep up to date with all of this here on YouTube, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also go to kermodeandmayo.com for all the new stuff about the podcast. Tap the link. Go on. Tap the link. You know you want to.